we're back with Dr. Lena Wen. Lena, what a great group of sessions. Absolutely. In particular, Tony and Kurt with Microsoft stress empathy towards employees and building resiliency during these times. And then they back that up by the hiring of the first ever chief caring officers. So what benefits do you see from this Microsoft leadership approach? So I really enjoyed this talk, Jody, and I love this concept of the chief caring officer, not only because of its name. Um, I really do like this, the, the, <laughs> the name itself. So whoever did that branding, did it, it did it very nicely. Um, but really, this is about the idea that if you have these individuals that are placed on every team and it's their job to understand what is going on with people in this extremely stressful time. Um, and I think it does convey as exactly as you said, it conveys this value of empathy. Um, so much of what was discussed in the session is the quick pivot, the recognition that we are operating in really unusual times that we have to be helping our employees who are undergoing these stressors and also helping the individuals that the customers that Microsoft is serving. Um, I thought that what they discussed about the, um, the importance of, the, of bridging the digital divide when it comes to education is so critical. And it's something that I felt so torn about because in this time, we know that opening schools um, is, it, it does have some risk involved, a risk to the students, risk to teachers, to staff, and importantly to their families. Mm -hmm. But if we don't have schools come back, we're furthering the COVID slide and widening the educational disparities. And the digital divide is one major gap that, that needs to be bridged uh, at this time. And so I think that um, you know, the work that Microsoft says um, that they're doing when it comes to their employees is really critical um, and taking into account the important work that they're also doing when it comes to, what, uh, to helping, the, uh, helping communities all around the country with mm -hmm. the education component as well. I agree, and I think a lot of our attendees will probably be surprised at all that Microsoft is doing, so it was incredible to hear about. So let's remain on the topic of leadership for a bit. We also heard from Brian Moynihan with Bank of America, who mentioned several really ambitious initiatives to aid their employees' mental health during these challenging times. So they were pretty incredible to hear about, very action-oriented leadership style. What stood out to you there? I loved that there was this conversation about mental health which is so often seen as something separate from physical health when actually it is absolutely integral to physical health as well. Um, the discussion of how mental health is a health imperative and also a moral and economic imperative, I thought was excellent. Um, it's one thing to hear that from people like me in medicine and, and health, but quite another to hear it from corporate leaders too. I also liked in this conversation about how they stressed it's not just the diagnosis of mental health condition, but also um, to talk about stress, as in, yes, it, of course, it's very important for us to um, get treatment for individuals with diagnosed mental health conditions. If you have depression, anxiety, etc., of course, you must get treatment for that. But what about individuals who may not have that diagnosis, but who also need care? Individuals who are going through many different stressors in their life right now because of the pandemic, of taking on caregiving needs, of just going through so much and these changes in our social structure and networks. And so I thought that that was um, an important component. Um, and I really like what they said too about um, opening up and talking about the issues, including having senior leaders discuss the difficulty of parenting and caregiving giving during these times. I think it really um, showing that level of vulnerability and opening the door to these conversations um, is critical to getting all employees to see that it's okay to recognize these challenges um, and for us to live with these challenges um, together as colleagues too. I agree. I was really impressed with by Brian's remarks and also special thank you to Garen with One Mind for leading that discussion. Their work has been pretty incredible as well. So thanks again for your insights, Lena. We'll be back with you in just a bit. And now we'll hear a keynote panel discussion led by Patrick Kennedy, featuring leaders from the Born This Way Foundation, the Trevor Project, and the Steve Fund, discussing mental health. 